food subsidy has been removed from MPs plates and they will now pay more for their meals at parliament canteens. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla announced on January 19th that the food served in parliament's canteen will no longer be subsidized. Food served at a low rate in parliament canteen has often been a part of controversy with people opposing that lawmakers enjoy cheap meals at taxpayers' expenses. But this will change from upcoming session and MPs will pay full prices for their meals. This bar, kai varsho se jo vaisthaye chal rahi thi, is bar us vaisthaon mein parivartan karte huye, ITDC ko humne Lok Sabha canteen ki vaisthaye di hai, और जैसा कि मैंने जनरल प्रपंच कमिटी के अंदर सभी मान्य सदस्यों से आग्रह किया था सबने सहमति दी थी हम उस कैंटीन के अंदर हमने सब्सिडी को समाप्त कर दिया पूर्ण रूप से सो हाउ मच इंडिया स्पेंड्स ऑन सब्सिडी वाइल द स्पीकर डिड नॉट मेंशन हाउ मच इंडिया वुड सेव विद द मूव बट अ रिपोर्ट बाय पीटीआई सजेस्ट दैट आउट ऑफ द टोटल सब्सिडी ऑफ रुपीस 17 करोड़ Rupees 14 crore is at present availed by parliament staff and visitors. Rupees 3 crore is availed by the member of parliament. According to a report, the Lok Sabha Secretariat can annually save more than rupees 8 crore with this subsidy being removed. So what will be changing? Food prices. The canteen's meal prices are likely to at least double. The prices will go up by at least 20 to 50 percent. Catering, the northern railways that served for last 53 years in all food serving facilities in parliament has been asked to vacate the premises. The northern railways would be paid whatever cost it incurred for serving from the Ministry of Finance. According to another railways official, the annual revenue from parliament catering is between rupees 15 to 18 crore. From this year, the catering will be done by Indian Tourism Development Cooperation. So when did this controversy over subsidy erupt? In 2015, an RTI was filed by activist Subhash Agarwal. The RTI revealed that the canteen got a subsidy of rupees 14 crore per year. The hue and cry started after the RTI also revealed that the canteen had subsidized to 80% of its cost. The Right to Information Act put forward the prices that MPs were paying. It revealed that items like Fish fried with chips was subsidized by 63%. Mutton cutlet was subsidized by 65%. Boiled vegetables by 83%. Mutton curry by 67%. And masala dosa by 75%. Also, the subsidies are not limited to food. It is used for other expenses like salaries for canteen staff. Out of 14 crore rupees subsidy by about 11 to 12 crore was going towards paying the canteen staff. The RTI also revealed that the sales in the canteen were almost the same for when parliament was in session and when it was not. Due to the criticism that followed the RTI reply, BJP MP Bajnath Pandey wrote to Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan suggesting that the food supply for MPs should be removed to raise public trust in lawmakers. So, in 2016, the prices were revised. Parliament also said that Northern Railways would provide catering facilities on a no-profit, no-loss basis and hence the prices slightly went up. The same mutton curry which, was, which used to be sold for 20 rupees was revised to 40 rupees. Veg thali that was rupees 18 earlier went up to 35 rupees and chicken biryani went to rupees 65. Then last year in December, Member of Parliament unanimously decided to give up the canteen subsidy. This decision was suggested by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla, Lok Sabha's Business Advisory Committee and members of all parties agreed with him. And this year, the subsidy has been officially removed. So who can still avail the benefit of the subsidy? So last year, Congress leader Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary said that the removal of subsidy could affect hundreds of employees and media professionals who visit the parliament. So he suggested that the subsidy should be withdrawn only for the parliamentarians. Although some members from the ruling side did agree with him, but the decision on this is yet to come. The revised prices for the latest move is yet to be known.